Hey guys, it's me, Poppy Rain here. I wanted to come to you with a new series that I want to start. I'm going to start... Sorry about my hair, guys. I just got out of the shower. Um, but I want to start a new series where... Instead of telling you about all my dolls as like a collection or whatever... I want to tell you about each one of my dolls, Sucky and Wolf, individually. Like, their names, where I got them. If they don't have names, we can name them together. That kind of thing. So I figured I'd start with the few that I have up here in my room. Because a lot of them are still at my dad's. So today, I'm going to talk about a very special friend. His name is Dustin. Show him to you. He actually is wearing one of Traxton's outfits I gave him. This is Dustin. So, here's the story of Dustin. I got Dustin about six or seven years ago. Me and my ex like to do, like to go out of town to thrift stores or to yard sales and stuff like that. We did a lot of curb alerts and things like that. So we went to, we were out of town one time and we went to this barn sale and we really didn't find anything. There was so much junk, and a lot of it was literally just that, just junk, or overpriced. But I saw this little guy. His name is Dustin. Well, his name was Dustin at the time. I saw this little guy, and after about six or seven months, I think it was like six months to a year of having him, I decided I didn't want him anymore, but I couldn't bear to just give him away. So, here's what he looks like without his head. Um... My grandma, my mom's mom, got me into thrifting, or didn't, sorry, not thrifting, into dolls, because she really loved dolls and stuffed animals and toys. And me being the first granddaughter, since none of my aunts or my mom were really in dolls, my mom had a few porcelain dolls, and my other aunts were very, my one aunt's semi girly, my other aunt's kind of a tomboy. She decided that she was going to try dolls on me. So she got me a doll that I'll talk about in an, another video. She got herself one. And then she got me my first Lee Middleton. Which I'll show in another video. Because he's currently, I think, in the basement. Or still in my dining room. I don't know. Because he was at our old house. Um. So, anyways. She got me this doll. I was so mad for years that it was a little boy. I wanted a little girl so bad. So she had trouble finding a little girl. So I went on the hunt to find a little girl. Ended up finding Reborns. And became the hoarder I am today. But I always loved dolls as a kid growing up. Not so much, I wasn't a big, huge stuffed animal person. It's more dolls than stuffed animals, but I did have a few stuffed animals. But, I found this guy, right? Back to the story of dust. So, where does my grandma fit into this? Well, my grandma loves dolls, and her favorite animal is an orangutan. Those were her favorite animals, were orangutans. So I ended up shipping him to Florida because I couldn't bear to just donate him. And he did used to have a pacifier, one of those, like, round ones. If you've ever seen a pacifier that Lee Middleton comes with, the original Lee Middletons, he had one like that. I don't know what happened to it. I don't remember if I cut it off before I sent it to her or if, or if I sent it with him and she cut it off because, as you can see, he's got a... Mouth that opens. And he had one of the past fires that I had for Traxton. That I bought for my Reborns. But I couldn't bear to cut it. It didn't fit any of them. Um, but I lost, I don't know what happened to that. It was in the car and then I lost it. But whatever. Traxton's got enough anyways. So I ended up shipping him to my grandma. Now, how did I end up back with him? Well... About, I think it was right, I 
I can't remember if it was right before we moved in or right after we moved in. Here, at the beginning of April, that my grandma ended up passing away. And she had left the couple dolls she had and her stuffed animals to me and some jewelry and some other random stuff. Well, I got, my uncle was like, well, do you even want any of this stuff? He FaceTimed me and I saw them. Of course, I wanted Dustin back. There was another monkey I really wanted to that they couldn't find that I was super upset about. <clears throat> but I got Dustin back. Um, I don't think if I remember correctly, hold on, let me check real quick. I don't think if I remember correctly, oh, he does have a tag on him. He is a Plush Creations Inc. Never heard of that brand. His fur is kind of matted underneath. He has a little diapy on. He's had that on since I got him. Well, I think, well, I mean, not since I got him, but. Like, I put it on him, I believe. And then this onesie was actually one that was given to Traxton, but Traxton has $8 million and I thought he could spare one for Dustin. I don't even know. This onesie that he's wearing is a 24-month Carter's. It's a little long on him, but it fits him good everywhere else. Um, His name is Dustin because... Back in the 90s, I think it was early 2000s, there was a movie called Dustin Checks In. I believe the father was played by the guy that played I'm drawing a blank on his name. Not Jerry. George. George Costanza on Seinfeld. I believe that was the guy that played the father. Don't quote me on that. I might be wrong on that. He... I can't remember. I think he worked... I can't remember if he worked for the hotel. For a hotel or he worked for some company. And... The two boys, he had two kids, and they lived in the hotel. The movie was called Dustin Checks In. I don't know if I said that already. But. His name was Dustin. From Dustin Checks In. And, um. Yeah, and he reminded me of Dustin. So that's how I got the name Dustin. He's pretty big. I want to say he's about 18 inches or so. He's not super big. Like, he's a decent size. Like I said, he fits girth-wise in a 0 to in a 24-month onesie. But, like, length-wise, I think he needs probably, like, a 6-month onesie. Because as you can see, there's all this extra fabric right there. But this is Mr. Dustin, and I'll be doing these at least, I'm going to try and do at least one a week with all my different dolls and all my different babies, or dolls and stuffed animals so you can meet each one individually and help me name them. And yeah, but I'm going to go and I will catch you guys on the flip side. Bye.